Well, I was at home sleeping and a friend of my brother Colin said, they just killed your brother. Good day, my wonderful friends. It's me again, the great, great. One more great countryman, remember to like, share or subscribe and click on another video. Now this story uh, is really crazy. You have this youth, Kyle Latchman. He is an American citizen, born America. And he go back to Belize because that's where his mother and father come from. His mother was in jail, so when he was like 16, he came to Belize. And yo, the youth create chaos. I am going to tell you about this boy. Who is Kyle Latchman? Like I said, he's a young youth, American citizen, and uh, he went back to Belize where his parents from because his mother got jail. Now, when he went to Belize, he started hanging out with no other than the George Street gang. By him hanging out into the George Street gang, he started to do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Stuff like this. Last week Kyle Latchman was released from police custody on bail after being charged with drug trafficking and three other offenses. Today, Latchman was back in court, but this time he was charged with robbery. According to reports, a police mobile unit pulled up to the corner of Dean and Regent Streets on Saturday and saw two men sprinting down the street. The cops pursued the men and caught up to one of them who they later learned was Latchman. Police said that Latchman refused to answer when asked why he was running however, not long after, security guard George Satina appeared on the scene. Satina told the officers that Latchman and two others had just robbed him of his cell phone, $100 cash, and some personal documents with what appeared to be a firearm. Latchman was detained, and when he appeared in court today, pled not guilty to the charges. However, because the robbery was allegedly committed with a firearm, Latchman could not be offered bail and was remanded into custody until September. Latchman was ordered to surrender his American passport and he told the court that his mother is in jail and that he came to Belize to find his father. Now we are going forward in our 2022. That you would say about 23, 21 to 23 year old. And listen, I don't know how him do the man them, but I know him around with the George Street gang. Now the Taylor Ali man them, half of them, from long time, because they are war for years. So it's like him do some man some things, and the man them come, and this is what the man them do. But there's a twist to this also. But listen to what the man them Come on, me hard, come do. As Flores is otherwise known, was sitting in front of his house along with 77 year old Dusseldorf Wheat when an armed intruder charged into the yard and opened fire on the unsuspecting men. Other brother and told him, and we went over there and I saw his body leaning up. No, that I'm auntie. That a Kyle Latchman auntie. And she said when she go over there to our brother house. She seen body lay down on the ground. So, him go trouble the man them and go on with a bag of things because the youth they like him all like kill people because you see, him did start in you know, the gang thing with the George Street gang and I rob people and them things and I sell weed and drugs. And then the police came to know him. But what is very kind of striking is. He paid like a $25 fine and I think one time he paid a $3,000 fine. So, and you know, he never went to jail and he, you know, so I don't know what kind of justice system is Belize and I know they're underneath the, uh, the, the British, but I don't know, you know, the, 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 the actual punitive law laws that they wrote on the books now there's a twist to this story 
But before me play that, I want to listen to this young man art. And me give that woman ya my hats off to that woman ya. Because guess what? You could tell she's not enabling this young man. And she is like the diamond in the rough because majority of the people are my Belize and I'm not stereotyping this is from Fox they are very enabling you hear a woman come out and say well police shouldn't kill my son you know just because him shoot off of them I'm gonna kill a man around the sun and shoot off of them you know them, them kill him like a dog and him, you know, him not guilty or whatever the police them, and it's just kind of crazy. But this young lady, she has a total different take. We have to listen to some of what she has to say about her nephew, so we can understand who this guy is. Everybody was saying the same thing last night, but behind his son, he ended up getting killed. His son is Kyle Latchman, presumably no stranger to the law. Describe your nephew for us. I love my nephew, but one thing I do not condone is doing wrong. Whenever you do wrong to people, it will come back to you. And this is what's going on right now. Yo, you hear what the sister said, though. She love her nephew, but he might do wrong, and it come back to him. Now, what may I say? The first thing in our badness, you know, in a badness, the first thing you have to know and say, yo, your family them safe. Or your family them a war boat. You understand? So if you're going to do certain things, my youth, you know, you, you can't leave your family them at risk. And, and not go for anybody. You understand? Because enough time me in my life, I me, me couldn't put my family them at risk. So I have to think straight you understand and don't do the wrong thing so so, so life is but the youth here him young and him giddy and him trigger happy and him because he is an American citizen now him, him feel like him is entitled and him can't go jail long there and him know the law and everything so I saw the youth here flex now me go play another clip. Well, I was told that my nephew had a problem with someone and they could not find my nephew as of right now four days. So they went, somebody took him, somebody took a friend to show them where my brother lives and they shot my brother up seven times. You heard what the auntie say? The auntie say somebody went fuck with Pardon my language. Uh, was looking for him and a friend bring that person to him for the house. Cause they might look for him. And as it comes, them wet up him father because of him. Now that little youth a star. Remember me tell you. But one of the most shockingest thing is is that this guy is MIA. Missing in action because he of court cases too. And him just disappear off of the face of the earth. Them say, them a look for him for about six, seven days. And them can't find him. So, the police them also put out a bulletin. And the police them are investigate this thing with him father aggressively. Now, what do you guys think about this young man? And what do you guys think about Belize and the gang problem? Please let me know. Boy, when we do them video here, you know, they can be very stressful. And one young man say I pay murder, me, me, me I talk about or whatever. But our the people them who are here, the more I know what's going on in other places with people similar to them and look like them. Now, I say that to say this. Belize, over the years, I've tried so many things 
to uh, stop the gang. They have had peace march. They have had uh, negotiation with the gangs. Even the police uh, commissioner, Chester Williams, uh, when he was assistant, spoke to the gang. There were so much different things. Even Bujubantan, Tomato Bujubantan, God believes. I'm gonna check the gang them and talk to the man them and him not do that at Jamaica. But that's a different story. And they have spent millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. And it's still the same problem. And they 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 kinda do the police in like Jamaica and, and I guess like Trinidad. But I, I from looking from looking at this, because uh, like I said, I do different countries and stuff, Jamaica, whatever. And the, the, the commonality, what I am seeing, and and this is this is from my observation, from being, uh, I guess, a vlogger, not a journalist, <laughs> quote unquote. Uh, what I am seeing, I am seeing there's one thing that strikes out at me in all, all these different countries, at most of them, and it's poverty. And it's, it's not so much poverty in terms of, oh, I'm um, only for go buy food, it's, it's more like a uh, social development in terms of economics, meaning that the neighborhood I live in right now, there is a community center. And for that community center, you know, it, 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 it rescues a lot of kids including my son, my kids. You see what I'm saying? Because when I am, say, busy or running around or working, the community center and, and the counselors that work there uh, takes care of the kids. They, they play games. They teach them stuff. Uh, my kids and his friend, them, them friends, they're in basketball, and I'm like, I, I look at this and I said to myself, if this community rec center was not here, a lot of these kids would be led astray. And, and that community rec center, believe me, it, it, it's, a, it's, it helps the kids. They have basketball. They have the girls, them have dancing. The boys, them have basketball. And they have football. They have other stuff they do. And the kids really love it. They play bingo. You know what I'm saying? So, so when I say poverty, it's not so much a handout in terms of dollars. It's, it's, it should be a handout in terms of social development and economics. And I think that's the biggest thing I am seeing throughout all of this. And I don't want to get political and, and rant and rave, but... There is a issue right there, and if these government would would focus on 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 safe zones, you could call them safe zones. You know, where listen, no 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 gang member now run this, not down in the neighborhood. We have real legit. Counselors them. We can work with the kids. 
and teach them games, teach them stuff that they need to know. And 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 they be in a safe and secure. And and that kind of struck me. But yeah. In Belize, I think that's a big issue as well as Jamaica and Trinidad. And the young people them don't have anything to do and you know it's like i said it's not so much about jobs but it's more about social development and social engineering i can give you guys an example of social engineering when hitler took over germany at certain time of the day, when he play on the TV, everybody have to say, hey, Hitler, and stick out them right hand. And people hate it. People didn't want to do it. But guess what? The lady said, these are the people that was, all the folks that was involved in and, and survived. She said after a while her mother and her father and her and everybody started doing the same thing. Because out of fear make them start doing it. But the lady went on to say not even fear it's just that everybody is doing it and you get programmed. So with that said I don't want to keep on rant and rave, but I just have to speak my mind upon this. With that said, uh, the governments them need to really do something in that area. And like I say, when it goes into bigger question like uh, what are they doing with the money? You can't just develop Jamaica and, and, and make it for the aristocrats and the rich people where they can pay $300 for a, 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 a ultra VIP, uh, 300 US, and you're living in Jamaica for the Burma Boy, Burma Boy show. But you have to make the system more uh, conducive because police gun police SEO this that in the long run it's not gonna work and it's not working from what I see really and truly what these SOE and all these things have they, they 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 turn in our cities into our cities and the young men them and the people them into her urban guerrilla fighters and 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 that's what's gonna happen because the more the police them get tough the more the man them have a fine ways and you you see from what's going on in jamaica and all over the place Belize. so with that said, I'm sorry. I've been ranting and raving about about this, but that's just what I saw and what I'm seeing, and I would I just wanted to uh, speak on it. But with that said, La Yutia, Mr. Kyle Lachman, he make him father dead. He's been missing. He bring down problem upon the family. And it's just another tragedy. And check this out. I want you guys to click on the next video. This video is about Boo Drum. Him take the lady, 17 year old son, and turn the youth into a super suicide bank robber. And you want to check that out. So click on the next video. My name is Countryman. 
I'm out.